is happening people so today we are doing a little trout fishing and these trout were put in this pond by the Wildlife Resources Commission and uh, there's two ponds here in the county that they put them put trout in and uh, so there's about 25 ponds statewide in the state of North Carolina that the Wildlife Resources Commission stock trout in uh, starting late November through December uh, so we're going to go over a couple of methods and many methods people use to catch these uh, rooster tails uh, these little small grubs here people use them and uh, but the preferred method seems to work uh, the best is this power bait that actually floats this is the uh, floating type you can see that there and uh, so your rig is fairly simple just a small eighth ounce weight or split shot works either either way is your basic Carolina rig okay so feed your line through your weight that's about a quarter of an ounce then you will have a swivel this is a little bit big and about 24 to 30 inches of line and a very small hook and I'll show you the hooks in just a minute very simple rig basic is your basic Carolina rig and I think on this reel I'm using about six pound test line six ten pound test line whatever you have the neat thing about this you don't have to have any really specialized tackle uh, I have seen people using fly rods trying to catch these fish and that is possible if you want to do that I've seen people catch these trout on bait worms under corks. So this is your basic rig. Your weight, your swivel, 24 to 36 inches of line, whichever you can handle. And a really small hook. And we're going to take this power bait. We're going to roll it in a ball. We're going to insert it. We're going to hide the whole hook. Basically, that's what you're going to end up with. And we're going to cast that out. So, I've seen people use uh, regular canned corn to catch these. So, I have uh, all these in different baits. I mean, I got pink. Uh, this is some type of uh, orange. I have yellow and uh, Now the hooks I like these little mosquito hooks. I think this is a size six. Yep size six. So there you go uh, They make a couple of different type different type of hooks that you can use uh, number six is I think these are uh, Aberdeen Aberdeen number one size hooks those work as well and uh, like I said just a small couple of small split shot just enough weight that you can cast this out and uh, the if you come fishing for these if you go on the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission website uh, they will have a listing in the dates that they actually put these fish in the water and it looks like Zach might have one over there now you got him Zach? all right so I got a rag right here you got a pair of pliers sure I sure do here's your rag all right pretty little trap I don't think so a little little rainbow trout there probably about 11 12 inches long is probably the size that they come in good deal you gonna fill it up with water with bucket? yeah you can put put uh you know just something so as you can see zach just caught that fish that's what we after and uh i'm not a hundred percent sure just been a couple of seconds uh 
So Zach has a rig on like this to where the fish can actually pull line out without being detected. And I'm curious whether putting a split shot here, when the fish picks the bait up and starts off, he feels the weight and he takes off, much like you would carp fishing. But anyway, hey, that's a good sign. We've been here uh, maybe 10 minutes and we've already got a fish. And so looking forward to maybe catching some so we can carry them home and uh, do a little cooking with them tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I could just see you taking good. it off and it go boom, boom, boom. Good to have Zach take your picture. <laughs> good. We pop the hook out. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We're keeping it? Yeah, put him in the bucket. Baked trout for supper. Hey. Yeah, there's a lot of gunk over there on that side of the pond. Same one that was jumping or not. Okay. Alright. Thought maybe you might have some kind of special method or something. Just sitting and waiting. Panther Martin. That's pretty neat. Well, they will hit the old Panther Martin. Oh, 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 oh. No, throw them in that bucket. We're going to bake some fish tonight. With a few trout, that's a couple of hours fishing. So we caught them on the power bait. We caught them on pink. And we caught them on the green. And I caught two on the Panther Martin uh, today. That was surprising. So they will hit, the, will hit the Panther Martin. So, boom. So I have my trout here and we've got five so i've been thinking about the recipes it has been a really long time since i cooked any trout and uh so i really got two different recipes i want to try so i'm going to cook three of these whole and i'm going to fillet two of them so i'll have four fillets that i'll season differently than the whole fish but first of all we got to uh, get these guys filleted out and prepared and uh, 
I want to soak them in some salt water for an hour or two before we cook them. Uh, we're going to try to have everything ready about 6 o'clock. Uh, my two counterparts that was with me fishing, they are headed out to go deer hunting this afternoon to try to fill some tags. So anyway, I'm going to cook on these trout and try to have them all ready by the time they get back from hunting. So anyway, hey, let's get started. So these we're going to cut, we're going to do whole. So first of all, we want to come right here and cut this portion. And then we want to come right here, this anal hole. We want to cut shallow without cutting your hand. And like I said, so you want to you're going to do them whole. You want to cook them whole. A gill plate right here. Not a gill plate, but a jaw plate. Just clip that right there. So that opens that up. That's kind of where his tongue is. And then you want to start right here. Next to this pictorial fin. I think that's what it's called. And just cut shallow. Take your time. You don't want to get in there too deep. And you don't want to get too aggressive and poke your own hand. To make sure you can actually, one little spot here, I don't usually, I don't, right here between these fins, it's a little bit hard here sometimes. You can take your fingers and open it up to get get all the way through it. Usually when you're cutting through there, it stops right there. I don't never quite get thin enough. So you can hold him by his so you can see down there that's his that's his mouth and guts. And usually this will pull right out. So that was nice and clean right there. And uh, again, see this dark blood spot along this uh, spine bone? You put your thumb against it. Just give it a nice little push. And I'll put a little water on that so it don't look quite as gross. Just... Side. So there's my fish in my bowl. And I'm gonna put some water on this and salt it heavy and let it sit for about at least an hour. So we have had these fish soaking in salt water for about Two hours. I'll just dump them all in there. Okay. And then I'm going to coat these fillets. We got a little with a little olive oil. So on just the fillets, I'm going some sea salt some black pepper, some fresh ground black pepper would probably be better. And I'm going, oops, I'm going with some rosemary. And I'm going with some slices of lemon. All of these glaze. And I'm going to just use all of this lemon here on top of the fillet. So, the fillets, I have rosemary, salt, pepper, and just lemon on this. 
And since we had five fish, I wanted to do this two different ways. So I wanted to bake this. So when this bakes, I'm looking at about 10 minutes and it's done. I want it to be nice and flaky. To do these larger fish, you're gonna need a large pan, baking pan. And we are going to line it with parchment paper because this is my wife's baking sheet. And I don't want to mess it up. On stick spray. So here's my fish. I'm going to try to pat him dry. So the olive oil will stick to him. This is the inside of the fish. Beautiful fish. So I'm going to go ahead and season this side first. So first I want to put a little olive oil. We're going to season this side. Then when we flip the fish over. So this side has olive oil on it. A little more olive oil on it. Then we'll do what I like. What I like to do is then I can do the inside and the other side. So we're going to put a little bit of garlic powder, just lightly. And one thing the garlic powder helps with is to take some of the seasoning. Rosemary on this side. And a little parsley. Top up. Parsley and some black pepper. And I'm going to roll this fish over and I am going to do, matter of fact, let's do the inside first. I'm going to be very liberal with my olive oil on the inside. I don't know if I can quite do this or not. So, do the rosemary in my hand. Do that again, I missed. And the rosemary in my hand. Sea salt inside. Black pepper, a little garlic salt, and a tiny bit of parsley. Now, on the inside, I am going to use some paprika. paprika. My wife laughs at me because I say that funny. Some paprika on the inside. Now, inside of this fish, I am going to use some sliced onion stuffed in there. A little slice. I think I got plenty of onion. Also inside, I'm going to slide. Tell you what, let me cut that in half. Here's the other half of lemon wedge. The poor little fish can't hardly get stuffed anymore, can he? Okay, let's get in there. Rosemary. Black pepper on the outside. Some sea salt. And a little bit of garlic. So both of these will go into the oven at the same time. So remember the fillets, they're much thinner. They don't have any bones. 10 minutes, done. These fish, 20 minutes. And I'm gonna set the timer on that. Here is the fillet. I'm gonna move that so we can see. And this looks very flaky. See that piece there? 
You want to be in this? So this is a taste test. And taste of lemon, rosemary, salt and pepper. That's very good. Very, very tasty. And cooked just right. Now, let me add, I did add about five extra minutes. So instead of 10 minutes, I cooked it to about 15. All right, here we go. So, they look nice and tasty. So, we'll save that one. So let's, let's try a little bit. The meat's nice and flaky, so I pull that skin off. Nice, nice. So, we'll give it a whirl. That's pretty good. I can taste the lemon in it. It tastes pretty good. The rosemary. That's pretty good. And I can't wait to get the steaks out of the oven and sit down and try this. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Both of these are good. Like I said, it's been a long time since I cooked any trout, but uh, these are good, nice and flaky, not overcooked. One other thing I want to add, I did cook these whole trout an extra 10 minutes, so I cooked them about 30 minutes instead of 20. Anyway, I think I like this better. So 30 minutes for these, about 15 to 20 minutes for these. Anyway, hey guys, you remember, it's a wildlife, and I'll see you in the field.